that's the goal. We'll see what's happening. Some of y'all are gonna think this is crazy. Are you kidding me? All right, we're making the trek to get the horses in. The rain is here earlier than we thought it was gonna be. I mean, two hours ago I looked and it was supposed to be tonight. And now there's a huge, a huge swath coming through. So we're gonna go ahead and get them in. You guys are out feeding hay. What have you been doing in the barn? I was putting hay in and I gotta paint hay. I put some- Oh, you're getting their stalls ready. Yeah, Leslie already got central hay. Thank I guess you. Got thank you, thank you. I got cowboy. Oh, they're, they're ready and waiting this morning. Cinch, what you got in your mouth, buddy? <laughs> you got some weeds. You wanna go in? Okay. All right, Mr. Rippy is eating. And um, I was gonna show some of you. He's healed up so well. Look at there. It's all, it's all healed. And the hair is starting to grow back where it all fell out. So that is good. We have got the vet coming in a few days to give everybody their vaccinations and do a wellness check on him and cowboy so we can hopefully get him back in training shortly, shortly. Rocket is so funny. He is obsessed with Ben and only Ben. He follows him around. He does this. He just watches him and waits for I don't know what. Look, he's shaking again. It's not cold, y'all. <laughs> so funny. It came to my attention the other day that my rear tire is flat. I didn't notice it, y'all. There are things I don't notice. There's a lot of that. I have a lot going on in this brain of mine. And checking tires every time I get in a vehicle is just not something I tend to do. But... I'm going to put air in it now so I can so I can go do a run run a few errands around the farm. Um, and that's that. Yeah, I think we got a little ways to go here. This is not it's not getting a good seal on there. Okie dokie, that's done. Okay, I believe I hear the fertilizer spreader. So, <laughs> go figure. They weren't calling for rain until tonight. Um, he's been needing to get some fertilizer spread on some of our hay fields and the barley. And of course, the, the um, farm store, uh, the fertilizer, Spreaders are busy busy right now because everybody always you know everybody needs it at the same time. So um they're here. They're here and it's raining and it's not pouring down though. So I think hopefully they can get it done. Hopefully they can get it done. It'll be perfect to go ahead and get it out and then let it rain on it tonight. So that's that's the goal. We'll see what's happening. They're spreading granular fertilizer. This is not spray, I believe. I think I'm right about that, and it looks like maybe they're gone. Maybe they, they I see the tracks. They're done here. I'm too late, always too late. Everything going okay? Y'all don't understand how dirty he is. Look at this boy. Look at what he's done. He's been rolling big time. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna take some doing to get you clean there, Rippy. So I missed it, but these kids turned out. Maybe I'll get that video from Wesley. <laughs> we put all the horses over here in this one pasture because Lawrence had put a bale of hay in here and Cowboy and Rip weren't really doing much with it, so we 
brought the others from that pasture to let them eat on that hay and give that one a rest. Give that one a rest. <laughs> You're so sweet, but you are just <laughs> a muddy, muddy mess. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I put some medicine on. That's where he hurt himself going through the fence last week. I'm gonna put some more on there. Gosh. Oh, it's always something. Let's see what happens here. I know we've got some hierarchy. Okay. He said, I found a safe spot over here. They're all dirty. They've all rolled. I don't know. We didn't get a whole lot of rain, but it did rain pretty hard last night. So, oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Since you just weren't dirty enough. Not quite. Okay. Well, that should take care of it. Wait, I got... Whoa, ears. Oh, man. Y'all got to get used to each other again. <laughs> he doesn't like cowboy. No, he doesn't. Look at him. Yeah, Hank's ears. Okay, y'all, back in the kitchen, and I am doing something tonight that I have never done. Actually, it's something I've never eaten nor cooked, because that, that kind of goes hand in hand a little bit. But anywho, y'all, we are having beef, liver, liver, beef, liver, and onions, frying some beef, liver, and onions. I got the onion sauteing right now and bacon, bacon grease. I found a recipe that sounded like the easiest thing to do, so I'm just trying to do it the way it said. It does not sound hard. Um, Lawrence said he loves liver and onions, but I've obviously never cooked it for him. Poor thing. Um, it's just always seemed like kind of gross to me, but we have all this liver in our freezer that I never do anything with. In fact, in the past, it just would go to the dogs, and now I feel really bad about that because I've done a lot of research, and I know that beef liver is like a super food. It's like a super food, okay? Um, and I will say this. <laughs> so I said I've never had it. I've never had it this way. For the last month or so, I have been eating liver, beef liver every day, an ounce a day, but I can't taste it the way I eat it. So um, <laughs> some of y'all are gonna think this is crazy. I'm doing so many things different in my life that I never would have thought I was doing, would be doing, but hey, this is, this is life, living and learning and trying and doing, and um, anyway, after I heard about what a superfood it is, I saw where some people eat it raw, and so I'm putting it in my morning smoothie. I make what I call an anti-inflammatory uh, smoothie, blueberries, spinach, turmeric, what else do I put it? Beet pulp powder, um, beet powder, uh, a little bit of high protein milk, protein powder, and I started putting some oat bran in there for some oat bran benefits. But one thing I've done is taken the liver and sliced it into like little chunks. So it's frozen, I get it partially unfrozen where I can cut it into chunks, small chunks. And I put it in there and it's um, part of my morning smoothie. I can't taste it at all, but I'm getting the benefits. And I'm pretty excited about it. So anyway, that's that. I'm just throwing that out there. Somebody will have something to say, good or bad about it. Let her rip. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so this is, this is step one, onions. Onions and bacon grease. I agree, I, you know, I feel like some of what I'm doing here is going to negate, negate the benefits of the beef liver, but I'm really just doing this for my husband because I'm tired of hearing him say, why don't you ever cook it for me? So, here we go. I'm going to see if I can do this. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, I already have an issue. I totally forgot. I totally forgot that the recipe um, suggested letting the, the liver soak in milk for a couple hours. I don't have a couple hours. It's time to cook supper and I forgot to do it. So, here's hoping. It didn't actually really need that 
to taste good. <laughs> Look at that beautiful, beautiful liver. 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 Okay. Uh, the onions look good. They look good. So, and I've cooked rice in here. I was going to do mashed potatoes, but we had that two nights ago. So, we're doing rice instead. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's, let's see what this tastes like. It's cooked all the way through. I'm very sure that I cooked it correctly. I'm very sure I'm not going to be able to eat a whole piece of that. There's just something, something about it. I do not think my children are going to appreciate this meal. Okay, next time I'll try the milk. Rice and corn. I think that's what we're going to have is rice and corn, and maybe their daddy will eat this. I just can't. I don't think I can stomach it, y'all. I don't think I can stomach it, even with the onions. We would call that an acquired taste. Yeah. Well, this looks good, y'all. This looks, this looks good. All mixed together. Gravy, liver, onions. Okay. It's going to be good, Austin. You excited to try it? <laughs> yeah, I because it's kind of like big pieces. But, but it's very tender. Is there a way you'd be able to make those like big old pretzels with that? Pretzels? I don't know, baby. I don't know if I'm that smart. I don't think I'm a pretzel kind of maker. <laughs> did the same thing but I wanted you to try it first mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like a got a it's a strong flavor right I don't think <laughs> you like it you like it do you like it daddy you think I don't know, it ain't got the taste that I thought it's been so long it doesn't have the taste you thought because it's been so long since you've had it mm -hmm. I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with the cook. I will try. I will try it one more time. I will try it soaking it and see if it makes a I big difference. Yeah. Okay. Then you need to work on the gravy. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All I've had, you know, the gravy was different, but I made it just like the recipe said. Just climbed over the fence. Close that gate. Oh, it's hard to walk on. We got to sort. Um, we got to sort three out of this group to take to the slaughterhouse in the morning. So, um. He's gonna come in here and work. We were planning on doing this later, but they all happen to be up here. So we're gonna see if we can get them sorted. Just just he and I, him and I, just the two of us. <laughs> all right. What we have here is the ground is where it dried after being muddy. It's gonna be hard to walk on. Right there. Mm. 
that's what you call that's what you call some easy working and that does not happen very often huh oh okay thank y'all for cooperating so well <laughs> I mean, that'll do. That will do. Last two. <laughs> it's really a pretty day, y'all. It's cold, but it's pretty. Well, it's like, I don't know what it is. I think it's in the 40s. It was in the low 20s this morning. That's as cold as it's been in a while. Um, anyway, I could not find my coat. I think I must have left it in the barn. So I stole Wesley's and luckily I've got his gloves too. So it's nice when you can wear the same size as your children. It helps. Okay, we're gonna do this and that'll be it for farm chores. Austin wants to ride. I didn't get to do it yesterday with him, so I wouldn't mind doing that either. I'm just feeling kind of tired recently, y'all, so I don't know. Ah, uh, come back, Jack. Meow. I could have found a stick to prop it up, so I guess I'll have to hold it. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. I hear you. I'm going to give you some feed. I'll give you some feed. Oh, there go my people. Look at them. They're going riding. Oh. Austin asked if she could ride Rip, and I said, of course. So, there they go. It feels very odd to not be going with them, but um, I had some stuff I needed to do. And I just don't feel 100%, y'all. So, it's not one big glaring thing. I'm just kind of... So, I'm taking the afternoon to do some computer work, and then I'm going to maybe try to take a nap. Just, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I just need some rest. So Austin was so sweet. I was like, I feel bad about feeling bad and not going. She said, mom, don't feel bad about feeling bad. <laughs> she said, there'll be another day. There'll be a lot more days. And can I ride Rip? And I'm like, yes. So that made me feel good. At least my boy's getting ridden. He needed brushing too. So I know she did that. They're so cute. Good daddy kid time and puppy time and horse time. So, I think we're going to wrap, I'm going to wrap this one up here. We'll see about you next time. It's gearing up, y'all. We're gearing up. Like, farming is going to happen again, I promise you. And it's coming soon. Um, March is flying by. March is, March is over halfway. March is, March is almost done. <laughs> Easter's right around the corner. April and then the best month, May. May, May, May. I just wrote an article yesterday for the May Progressive Farmer um, magazine, DTN Progressive Farmer, and uh, I'm excited to share that with y'all when it comes out. Talking about, talking about the promise that May holds. It's just a fun month on the farm, you know? It was good to think about it and be anticipatory about it, and um, I'm excited for it, so... Just got to hang on a little bit longer. Just a little bit. All right. Take care until next time.